สวัสดีครับผู้ฟังทุกท่านยินดีต้อนรับเข้าสู่รายการของปอมรูดี้ Hello and health welcome to Thai Letters Today we learn คอควาย a low class consonant structure remains the same even though consonant group changed now writing pronunciation examples and exercises as always now again I recommend to take the course introduction first if you are not familiar with how the course works. Otherwise, keep watching this very lesson. คอควายคอควาย As you can see from this time, the blue background, it is a low class consonant. Now, if you look at it very closely, it might look familiar because within the middle class consonant group. We already learned a consonant which is quite similarly written. It is da de, da de. The difference is that the actual circle is written in the very center of the consonant, but then with da de, you basically uh, come out while writing. You leave the circle on the bottom of the circle, whereas. With the kwa kwa and kwa kwa, as you can see here, you leave the circle on the top. Okay. You maybe have to compare these two, and it's uh, fundamentally important to, while reading, of course, being able to distinguish between those two consonants. That being said, let's take a look at the tones. คอควายบาสิคลี่ยูส์ทูมิดเดิลโทนส์ฟอร์บอทคันซ์นิตเซลฟ์แอนด์ล์มาร์คเวิร์ดวอเตอร์บัฟฟาโล่ let's see how it is written and now pay close attention on where you leave the circle and in what way clockwise or counterclockwise you actually write the circle คอควายคอควายคอควาย Excellent. You can practice writing on your own on an extra sheet of paper, or you can download the exercise material, which is available on ThaiLanguageProgram.com. The link will be displayed again at the very end of this lesson. Pronunciation. Let's practice a little bit. I speak first, and you try to speak after me. Getting the sound as close as possible, and whenever the text turns red, it's your turn to speak. คอควายคอควายคอควายคอควายคอควายคอควาย Excellent. Let's make let's do another round and now speed up a little bit. คอควายคอควายคอควายคอควายคอควาย Great. You see how the pronunciation of the consonant is already getting uh, familiar, or you're only already getting familiar with how to pronounce this consonant, and your throat is getting used to expressing ka 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 kwai. Great. Now you can go on, and we have a look at examples. Different representations of this consonant. You can see different fonts or handwriting styles being used for representing this very consonant, and you can always see that the actual stress within these representations lies on the actual pattern or bow of where you leave the circle. Even though the circle doesn't appear in some of the representations, it's always indicated at what point. You actually leave the circle while writing this consonant, so it's always pointing down within itself, rather than with dotic pointing up 
within itself if you compare the two. Okay, within this text fragment, where can you see Ke Huai? We have one right here as an example. Of course, we also have Ke Huai in the top part of the red box where the small writing is. However, it appears to me to be too small to represent it on a screen. However, if you find it on your own, that's perfectly fine. Within this text fragment, where do we find ka huai consonants? There is one in the very first line here that is circled in red. Now, let's go on to your exercise. This text fragment where you are supposed to be able to find ka huai consonants within the text, circle them or make a print screen or just note on an extra sheet of paper where they are to be found and then also do the same thing for these two text fragments that you're already familiar with and uh, circle the ka huai this time. Now at this very position I highly recommend to pause the video and then keep on watching as soon as you're done with this exercise because the solutions are about to be displayed. Now, where can we find Ka Huai within the text on top? There is one in the very first line at the very beginning. We have another one towards the middle. In the second line, there is a Ka Huai. And in the third line, we have two of them. And in the last line, in the last line, there is one in the middle of the line. Within the blue text fragment, or actually the text is white, but in the blue colored, background colored fragment, we have a ka huai in the very last line. And you can see now within this text fragment that you may have already been required to be able to distinguish between ka huai and da de, which look quite, quite similar, however, different representations. And let me tell you something about Ka Huai. Very often it seems that they seem to print Ka Huai not by starting to write the circle and then go on top of it as we have learned right now and as most representations actually write it, but they rather seem to just start at the very bottom. Actually it's also true for the, the longer text fragment on top of it that they start on the bottom and basically go up and just write a circle somehow and continue. But this is not uh, the way it is, it's just the way it appears. It's actually this very circular pattern Then you go down to the bottom and go back up on top of it and come back down, as we have learned for the hang writing practice at the very beginning. Okay, just a quick remark. Then in the red colored um, fragment here we have Ka Huai at the very beginning of the first line and we have another one in the last line. Also here again it's fundamental and of course in all the exercises to distinguish between Ka Huai that we've learned now, low class consonant, and Da De that we've learned previously, middle class consonant. All right. If you're interested in doing additional exercises on this particular consonant, feel free to sign up for the free forum access, after which you are allowed to access and download all exercise material that is available on thailanguageprogram.com. And for this lesson, it will be Ka Huai exercise sheets for how to write, handwrite the consonant, and then on how to write it within a text fragment with uh, different um, gaps where you can fill it in in order to learn how it actually fits in terms of extent within a text fragment. Great! If you're done with that and you're keen on keep on learning, you can go on to the very next lesson which is ngangu, ngangu, another low-class 
consonant. Thank you for your attention and I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next lesson. And enjoy learning Thai. ขอบคุณนะครับที่ใช้รายการของผมรูดี้แล้วหวังว่าเราเจอกันในบทหน้าครับสวัสดีครับ